Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you back. My name is Jocelyn, warmly Jocelyn, and I am so happy that you are here to join me for another video. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Stay tuned, subscribe, comment, like, take a look around. I am sure I have something for you. And if you are returning, what's up, what's up? Thank you for coming back. Today, we are getting into how to become your own dream girl and decenter men. This is not even a topic that I feel like, ooh, I have mastered, I've got, I'm the expert. It's something that I am still going through because I don't think that this is just unique to single women. I think it's important that we continue to center to center ourselves as women, even within relationships and not losing our individuality or losing ourselves inside of a marriage or inside of a relationship. I consider myself a serial monogamous. I don't like dating. I don't like being out here. <laughs> Not like out here, out here, but out here. You know what I mean? Like looking, searching, finding, like nah, no, 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 no. I like to be cuffed. That is the type of, that. that's me. And because of that, I have found myself sometimes centering men in a lot of areas of my life that they don't really need to be centered in. Okay, so what I mean by centering men, please select if it applies. It can look like going to a specific location or saying yes to going out somewhere because I could I find my man here. I could find my husband here, right? Instead of just being present for what that time could bring, the memories that you could be creating, the focus should be the time that you are having with them together and the memories that you're creating with the people that you are with in that moment. And if you so happen to meet someone, wonderful. But that shouldn't be the intent and that should not be the reason why you're saying yes to go. Another instance that, ooh, I'm putting myself out there, is buying a garment or clothing that you feel like could attract men is attractive to men versus just buying it because you like the color, you like the fit, and you like how you feel in it. The center is you. It's like center you, you're giving your power away, spending your own money with the intent that it is going to satisfy someone else outside of yourself, no. Another thing that I have found myself when I am not being my own dream girl and centering men is hanging out with women who are mostly in relationships. Hear me, there is nothing wrong with doing that. That is great. You should be around people that you um, have similar values and, and morals. But I do think that there is something when you're like othering like I am othering you because you are single or I'm othering you because we don't, we don't, we're not in the same lifestyle season. And why I think that is so foolish is because that makes it seem like I can't learn anything from you because you're single or I can't learn anything from you because, oh, you're married. I think that like having an inclusive group of, of friends or, or girlfriends has been very fruitful to my life. I have friends who are in, they're knee deep into motherhood and marriage. I have friends who are in graduate school and are still in that educational system. I have friends who are single and not looking and don't want kids. And I have friends who are fully wanting a ring like so it's just like and I learned something from all of them I have had to check myself when I said oh I only want to hang out with married people because that's where I'm trying to be and that's where I'm trying to go I'm missing out on so much fruit and so much wisdom and lessons from all of these other groups of people that I can really really learn so I think that that is 
Also something that I've had to learn from decentering men in a way. The other thing is centering all my, like you, you know when you get together with your friends and all of the life updates are around who you just went on a date with, who you're talking to, um, what, what man you're about to like, centering all my life updates around dating. We are, as women, we are so much more than who we're dating or who we are meeting. We have so much layers and texture to us that I have had to really sit back and think like, gosh, all of my updates are centered around my dating life or around like, or that's just what we're talking about because that's like maybe like what matters most. And there's like so many other things that I could share and so many other things that I would love to like relish with my friend in this time over dinner or over um over coffee that we have spent a whole hour talking about just relationships and while that is not there's nothing wrong with that and there's always like time for that i just don't think it should be taking up all the time in all the updates you get what i'm saying because there's so many other things that i care about there's so many other things that i contribute in life that like those also deserve the same amount of space and recognition. Just like we are not linear, we're, none of us are only one thing, none of us are only just a mom or just a wife or just a business owner or just a Christian or just anything. We make up so much, there's so much variation in who we are that I think that that variation, if we're comfortable with sharing that, should be shared, it should be celebrated, and should also have the same amount of like life update as relationships you get me so those are just some instances that i've noticed in my life like gosh i am really centering men and i am not putting enough emphasis on who i am as an individual and all of these other hats that i get to wear that are also so exciting to me so if you have found yourself in any of those situations in any of those instances please keep watching because I am about to show you how to reverse that and to how to get a little bit more balance into your life so that you can also become your dream girl and not just someone else's. So my first tip that has been helping me is taking yourself out on undistracted dates, not with any devices, just thinking about how far you've come, celebrating your own wins, um, checking in with yourself. I have been making it a habit um, to take myself out like once a week at least. Um, I sometimes go to the movies, I'll sometimes go get my nails done, I'll go get my hair done, I will go um, just take, I mean, take a walk around New York, like it doesn't, go take myself on a coffee, go take myself to a class and then brunch. It really doesn't matter. It's just genuinely just showing up for myself and not always needing someone to show up for me or validate me or keep me company. Um, so that has been really, really helpful with just becoming my own dream girl. It just shows also I want a companionship I don't need companionship right like I want it it's great to have it's nice to have but I can also water myself and you can also water yourself that's something that's been just really really helpful is undistracted consistent dates with myself every week number two has been dressing myself in things that I want to see myself in thing where I'm not considering like, oh, if I put this on, will I will, will I attract male attention? Oh, if I put this on, will I find my husband? It's genuinely like, I'm going to put this on and it's dope, or I'm going to put this on because I feel comfortable, or I'm going to put this on because I feel sexy. Because it's like, again, centering myself on how I feel. And then this also goes beyond just like centering men. I feel like it's also like just centering like Sometimes we get dressed for the gram. Sometimes we get dressed for other people. Sometimes we get dressed for a man. It's like, it's genuinely like I'm continuing to be in the driver's seat of it's because this is what I want. When marriage does come into the picture and when you are ready to share your life with someone, yes, like can they have a say in what you wear? Sure, but until that time comes, I'm gonna be standing on what I wanna wear. And that's just that. I hope that helps you too. Number three, has been truly getting to know myself. Goodness, in this season, I have been living alone. I have been 
getting to know myself in so many really fun ways. And I've been doing that through therapy and spirituality, traveling, um, hobbies, interests. Like I have been getting to know myself in very intimate ways that I don't think I have when I've been in monogamous relationships. Like I haven't been getting to know myself in this way and it's been very rewarding and very fruitful. So I think that that has been another way that I'm centering myself as my own dream girl. Cause it's like when it is time for me to become, to be married and to um, be someone's wife or be someone's mother, it's like, I will always know who I am and I always want that to be the center of my decision making like I'm not gonna make that decision because that's not who I am I'm not going to say yes to that thing because that's not who I am isn't because who you are changes and right now it's been really cool to see who I am right now present day presently so I would implore you to go find out who you are I recently became a mentor and that's been really 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 rewarding I um, am welcoming in new friendships or nurturing old ones. I um, am getting to know my neighbors and uh, serving more at church and just centering other relationships and making room for other relationships in my life has been very, very fulfilling. I would recommend just um, getting to know people and putting yourself in new environments. Like I said, through having more hobbies I've, or going to certain classes, workout classes, I've been able to like meet people and um, just center other relationships. And not every relationship is gonna be super deep, but just that weekly cycling class that you go to, just like now, like, oh, that person knows my name, I know their name. It's just like, hey, you know, like, which has been really, really nice for my selfhood. Um, and just like not allowing for a relationship again with a man to take up so much of my selfhood. Number six is working out your kinks. Are you struggling with unforgiveness? Are you struggling with loving yourself? Are you struggling with comparison? Are you struggling with childhood trauma or just unresolved things? Work out your kinks before you're trying to center somebody else in your life, before you're trying to share your life with someone. Because guess what's gonna happen when those things are going unresolved? They're gonna show up in your relationship. So if you are in, the, in a season of singleness and you are in a season of um, dating, um, but you're not married yet, use that time to work out your kinks. Use that time to iron out things, to to get things straight internally so that when it is time for you to share your life, you're coming from coming from it from a very holistic and a whole healed or healing place um, so that you are checking, checking your triggers, you are checking um, some of these old belief patterns, you are getting clear on how things are connected and why you get so angry or why you get so sad or why you have this unhealthy attachment. like get clear on that during this time i'm telling you your relationship will be infinitely better and then my last and final tip would be taking time away from dating i think that sometimes when you aren't stepping back to analyze what's working and what's not what you want in a relationship what you don't want in a relationship you kind of just like are in this like perpetual cycle like i take it from me again i said that i feel like i am a serial monogamous Taking time away from dating, be it six months, be it a year, be it whatever, and get clear on what you want, who you want, the type of things that are unacceptable that you don't want, the things that you do. It's just like, it's just like getting clear, just stepping away from it. Um, and let that be between you and God on how long that time is going to be. Ultimately will become your own dream girl and decenter the wrong man out of your life and you know I'm just I'm telling you I am actively like taking a lot of these steps or have done a lot of these steps and I do feel like better for it so friends I hope that this helps with becoming your own dream girl decentering men from your life and just becoming the best version of you that's what warmly jocelyn is all about that's what my videos are about is becoming the best version of yourself unapologetically 
and confidently. So I hope that these videos help. I hope that you continue to come back, new videos every week. And yeah, drop a comment, like, subscribe, share, all of the things y'all. And I will see y'all on my next video.